What's up guys, this is Julius again from Ojas Web Digital Solution. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features in Google Analytics, and that is the ability to track e-commerce transactions with the help of advanced features in Google Analytics. Right now, I'm in Google Analytics dashboard, and as you can see, this is the default settings for Google Analytics when you create an account. Right, we have the users, we have the sessions, we have the bounce rate, and we have the session duration. If you just set up your Google Analytics account, this is exactly what you're gonna see from your dashboard. However, if you have an e-commerce website where you sell some product or services, you would want to track transactions that are happening on your website. And for this, we need to do some advanced configuration in Google Analytics and on the website. And that is exactly what I want to show you in this video. I'm not gonna do the configuration in this account, but I'm only showing you this so that you can see the default settings for Google Analytics. I'm gonna to switch to my personal account where I have configured this particular setting. Right now, I'm in my own Google Analytics account. And as you can see here, I have the users, the revenue, conversion rate, and the session. This is different from the previous one where I have the bounce rate and the sessions and some other metrics. But here I have configured the e-commerce tracking and I want to show you how to start the process in the Google Analytics account. To start this process, I'll go ahead and click on the settings tool at the bottom left corner here. After clicking the settings tools, I will wait for the page to load and the next thing that I will do is I will head over to the view column. You can see we have three columns in Google Analytics. We have the account, the property and the view column. I will go to the view column and I will move down to the e-commerce section. As you can see, we have e-commerce settings. So I will click on this e-commerce settings and when I get to the e-commerce settings, by default, these two buttons will be turned off. So what you have to do is you have to turn these buttons on so that you can enable e-commerce tracking on your website. And immediately you turn these two buttons on, you click save and go back to home. You will see that the revenue is now appearing on the main dashboard, which shows that your e-commerce tracking has been enabled in Google Analytics. By the way, that is not the end of the configuration. We need to do some other configuration on the website so that we'll be able to track this particular action on our website. I assume that you already have Google Analytics installed on your website and you are using WooCommerce plugin for your e-commerce website. Right now, this is my website. Let's assume I want to buy any of this product on my website. I can go ahead and click on this and look at the product, add the product to the cart and make a purchase. So let's say I look at this product, I add it to the cart and I made a purchase. What I want to see in Google Analytics is I want to see how this action is being performed and where I'm losing some sales and what I can do to improve my sales on my website. Right now, as you can see, I have some data in my Google Analytics dashboard for e-commerce. By the way, I configured this in the last 24 hours and that is why you see just few metrics in this particular dashboard. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to set up the configuration in my website back end and that is when I will go straight to my website. And like I said, this setting is particularly for WooCommerce users. So if you're using WooCommerce to set up a e-commerce website on WordPress, this is going to be a very helpful tutorial for you. So right now on my WordPress dashboard, I will go ahead and click on plugin and click on add new. So I want to install a particular plugin that will enable me to track e-commerce from my WooCommerce sales. So I will go ahead and type WooCommerce Google Analytics integration. And the first thing you'll see here is WooCommerce Google Analytics integration made by WooCommerce. By the way, you can see the rating is not that high here, but the reason is because the first few versions of this plugin was not too cool. And I think the first set of people who make use of this plugin are not too happy with the result they get, and that is why they drop a lot of negative reviews. By the way, if you see the last few reviews in the last 10 months, you will see that the reviews are very amazing, and this plugin is working pretty fun. I have used it, and I have confirmed that this plugin is doing amazing work. So you can go ahead and install this plugin and click on activate. Immediately you activate this plugin. The next thing you will do is you will go ahead and click on WooCommerce and go straight to the settings. Now I click on that and I will allow the page to load. Now the settings page 
is loaded the next thing i want to do is i want to click on integration this is where i want to do the configuration so that i'll be able to track e-commerce transaction on my woocommerce website and the first thing I will do here, I'll go back to my Google Analytics to show you how I get some information I used in this integration page. So I go back to my Google Analytics and I'll click on settings. Now I click on settings and I will allow the page to load. Back to the settings page, I want to click on property settings. Now I click on property settings and the next thing I see here is tracking ID. This is my Universal Analytics tracking ID. So I copy this and I will go back to my WordPress dashboard. And I will paste it here. Now, after pasting it here, I will go ahead and configure the remaining settings. For me, I don't need to set up anything here. And as you can see, it's optional. If you like, you can go ahead and give your domain a name. I'm not interested in that. By the way, if you have not started tracking activities on your website, you can enable this standard tracking. But if you have already set up your Google Analytics tracking, you don't need to enable this. You can just keep this and go ahead and enable the remaining options. For me, I usually advertise my business on Google and I want to track my display advertising activity. So I'll go ahead and click on this and I'll go ahead and select the other options. I selected enable universal analytics and use enhanced link attribution, anonymous IP address, track 404 page not found, purchase transaction, add to cart event, and enable enhanced e-commerce. After enabling all of this, I'll go ahead and click save changes. And immediately I click on save changes, I have finished the configuration to allow me to track e-commerce activities with Google Analytics for my WordPress website. That is how you can go ahead and configure Google Analytics e-commerce tracking for WooCommerce. And I believe if you set up this, you're definitely going to like it because you will be able to see how your website is performing and the numbers of sales you're getting from your website. But before I go, I will show you one last thing that will be very helpful for you because when you set up your Google Analytics, it is most likely that the currency you are seeing there is not your country's default currency. So in order to change your currency back to your country's default currency, you're going to go back to the settings. And after clicking the settings, you are going straight to the view page and the view page, you want to click on view settings. After clicking on view settings, you go straight to the bottom and here you will see currency display as US dollar. I left this as US dollar because my country's currency is not available in Google Analytics. By the way, if your country currency is there, you can go ahead and select the currency and click on save. And that is how you can go ahead and set up your default currency and track e-commerce transaction on your Google Analytics account. I believe you've learned one or two things from this video. And if you like the video, feel free to give us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching the video and bye for now.